fun begins. Oh, troll. If you know, you know. If you don't, I apologize in advance. <sighs> Alright, I'm just building here. Op 4, enabled, add gear, remove NVGs. I shouldn't have any anyway. Yeah, that should be everything set. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Separate those a bit more. They're putting more choppers in. That's fine. So many oh, boy. So. <laughs> I got my coffee cup covering my monitor right there. Hey, for many heavy vehicles, how are you then safe? I'm half tempted to put an Igla in because one of the pilots challenged me. <laughs> ah, next time, perhaps. Next time. To get some more RPG gunners around here. My one fear, though, is Lamb's going rogue with these patrols and charging the sealed position, but. Yeah, we'll get there when we get there. We'll get there when we get there. Should be fine. Ah, uh, anything else I want to do? Nah, it should be good. That's fucking mess anyway. It's TFN uniforms and Marbit Ace MBG 150 is missing. No. Uh, did he download the fucking can vacate correctly? Alright. Maybe one first class. I'm being very shitty. Uh, are we allowed to dig trenches at all or no? Do you have an E tool? We do. We do. I love how you can hear all the backpacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. Shags, we... So here's the deal. When they start their brief, I'm going to teleport you in. I'll come over to you, make sure you're set to prone. I'll teleport you in one at a time. Um, yeah. Uh, I will be doing my best to watch you guys, but for all I know, I'm going to listen to their brief and then look at you and then find out you're all dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Six going dark. You get fucking <laughs> domed immediately. Bravo six, I'm dark. I can't see shit. Well, <laughs> I mean, Those if you look at the map, uh, if you see all those blue markers they have, um, there's there's roughly, I want to say, uh, at least a four man patrol for every one of those blue markers, to be honest. And that's not including the 80 guys around you, so. Mm. It's, it's going to be hellish. Well. So they don't know where we are. No, they, you're somewhere in that red area. You don't even know where you are, personally. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we don't so, uh, know where we're going to get in, sir. I do. So the enemies don't have those. No, but they have really bright flashlights. Okay. Yeah. That fucking drone, and you don't flash it, I'll shoot you myself. <laughs> just everyone in the air just starts putting their lassos in. It's like, ah! Help! I might. Help! So, if they're gonna start doing drone recon, I might need to put you in now, but I'll I'll let you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah Leary, if you want to, to remove the lasers off our rifles, it'll make it a bit more interesting. Uh, well, Dante is a secondary laser pointer, so it doesn't really matter. Plus, the guys that went in did have laser pointers for Lasso, so... Okay. Again, them finding you is not the difficult thing. I expect them to find you in, like, five minutes of air recon. Getting to you is going to be the... Yeah. yeah okay. they, they will be able to get to you. It's just, are you going to be alive by the time they get there? That's the real challenge. <laughs> so. oh, yeah. RPKs are what strike fear into the men. Uh oh. <laughs> the yeah, let me let me go look at something real quick. I'll be back in a moment. Oh, I remember it now. Yeah, I remember my ratio. So there's like 15 to 20 fortified positions, and for every like two or three positions, there's one RPK gunner, and uh, otherwise there's a PKM or PKP. No, it's a PKM only. PKPs would be too advanced. Yeah. So, again, when I say don't leave your position unless you absolutely need to, don't. Anyway, that drone's heading out, so I need to deploy you guys now. So let's see if you get shot. Um, <laughs> two of you just say that at the same time. I'll go first. Fuck it. Alright, uh, go ahead, Chef. BBT All right, we're good, right? Oh, yeah. No, you do want to be on Whisper. I just did that on yelling. So if you look around, you can see some uh, campfires and stuff. Good luck. I hate how he said that. Send in GOAT Team 6. All right, now. boyos. We're looking at a Platoon Plus today. I'm very happy with all of the attendance from you guys. Very, very satisfied. Okay. Look at all this Boss, real quick. Uh, yes. What net do you want the Zeus on again for this one? Uh, 33. Okay. Also, uh, okay. my boyos are in. Uh, they're very scared, and they need rescuing. <laughs> okay. Do they, do we, so we don't have their nets, correct? We're going to assume we don't have their nets. No, but you'll see. You'll be able to find them quick. Just okay, uh, gotcha. just follow the screaming in the canyon. It'll be okay. okay fantastic. Gotcha. Nice. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's get into this op. Um, there's no formal con op for this one just because this is a QRF mission. This mission is highly inspired from the events that transpired from the extortion um, crash as well as uh, Operation Red Wings, okay? So for those of you that don't know, the scenario is basically there is a recon team of four SEALs located in the valley. Uh, they have been compromised and are being chased by the Taliban. Um, we are going in in an attempt to rescue them and recover them should they not be alive. Uh, we have the Pavehawk on standby for rescue operations, uh, and we will have to go through a significant portion of the rescue just because it's slightly complex, and I know we've never really done it before. Okay, so uh, situation. This is a uh, op in the... Afghan region. Uh, the terrain is going to be extremely mountainous with sheer cliffs and decent amount of forest veg out. Real quick. Uh, let's see. 23 is ready to go. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? No hot mic. Awesome. Oh, they're still alive. That's a good thing. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. As long as they're not getting shot at right now, it's... And have to ruck our way in, okay? So expect it to be a slow-going 
uh, into target. <clears throat> okay. Uh, as far as the mission or the enemy forces out there tonight, it's a whole bunch of small arms. Uh, there's nothing past that. The terrain is way too mountainous for any uh, vehicles or armor. And then uh, we don't believe they have any IED, IDF, or air threats. Uh, it's, you know, they're just in the mountains, uh, straight infantry style. <clears throat> Most likely course of action out there tonight is uh, insurgent forces are out there hunting the SEAL team. Uh, it's going to be our job to locate them. They're going to engage us and the SEAL, SEAL team the moment they acquire them. Uh, so speed is of the, you know, utmost importance tonight. Most dangerous course of action is uh, they'll call in additional forces uh, from the surrounding villages. And it's, like I said, visibility is going to be a concern tonight. You guys are going to need to pay attention. There's a ton of edge. It's extremely dark, and there's a lot of dead space. Uh, so expect close contact from any direction. We're deep behind enemy lines at this point. <clears throat> as far as friendly forces out there tonight, it's going to be COG 1st Platoon. We're stepping off with the air stack. I'm tracking at least at this point in time, one times Reaper, one times Gunslinger <laughs> Apache, uh, and one times uh, Hog A-10. We also have one times Pavehawk on standby for Casavac. Uh, let's see, what else we got? No mortars, and we have a single attached snot. Snot will be integrated with the lead element, not on point. Okay, and I say again, not on point, but integrated with. Uh, that's the situation. Mission, tonight oh! we're uh, hitting a QRF, once again, in order to find this uh, missing recon team and to bring them back to friendly forces here at the FOB. <laughs> Uh, the end states for this mission are all friendly forces, including the SEAL team, are accounted for and back here at the FOB. Enemy, all enemy forces that challenges are neutralized or destroyed. And civilian, there are no civilians on target or in the AO tonight. We are weapons free. I say again, weapons free on any uh, individuals that are not identified as friendly. <clears throat> Okay, uh, as far as the uh, con op, as you can see, if we look Excuse on the map here, we have uh, our CPs marked. We also have our HLZs primary and secondary marked. Uh, we have ISR Reaper being pushed now on station above the target. He's doing the initial sweep. Uh, if all looks good, we're continuing with a Fry's infill. I say again, simultaneous Fry's infill on HLZ Wicked. Should we have to push back the secondary HLZ on Cherry Ice Call, or should uh, Wicked just appear to be too challenging for the pilots? We'll Fry's infill on HLZ Sickness, secondary south. <clears throat> load order for tonight is standard i say again is standard uh kilo one one kilo one two snot and hq in rage five one kilo one three kilo one four in rage five two okay <clears throat> uh you'll pz up behind the birds we'll load in and then we'll push to the uh hlz's conducting simultaneous ha uh, half infill uh utilizing fries above the hlz um, you guys should all know the procedure. We'll hit the ground. We'll hold security. You will need to be extremely careful on that dismount. It is incredibly steep. So you'll need to most likely hold close security. We might be bunched up a little bit there, but just make it work, okay? Remember, we are infilling behind enemy lines. Expect contact from any direction uh, once we're boots on the ground. <clears throat> After the whole element has infilled, we'll wait until the kilos leave audible range at which point we'll move out squad call on fire team wedge as best as possible uh adhering to the terrain along our cps we're going to be utilizing the Let's northwestern ridge off, line first that's going to be cp alpha due to cp juliet we're going to scan that and see if we can see them or if isr can spot them or if we can pick up any uh any notion that they're there either visual or aud audible if uh, that initial alpha to juliet ridge line is clear we'll then move from kilo to november and then tertiary ridge line to check is going to be Oscar through Sierra. Uh, but just know that that's generally the route we're going to take. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we're going to move out. We're going to pretty much treat this as a movement to contact uh, and push along the ridges, finding that SEAL team. Um, once we have custody of the SEAL team, we are then going to immediately and as safely as possible uh, conduct that medevac. Uh, we'll go over medevac, medevac procedures uh, real fast here, okay? Because of the terrain, the sheer cliffs, as well as the heavy veg, it is unlikely we'll be able to land any MH-47s or UH-60s without significant clearance of terrain. Even upon clearing the terrain, it is incredibly steep. More than likely, any medevacs, whether from the platoon or from the SEAL element, will need to be rescued via the pavehawk and the rescue hoist. The way that the hoist works for any conscious or unconscious persons, when the hoist is lowered, you simply ace interact to load onto the hoist, that person onto the hoist, or if you are conscious, 
it is a mouse wheel to get into the hoist as a seat. From there, the hoist operator will raise you and he will automatically be able to load you into the vehicle, okay? So if you're conscious, mouse wheel, get onto the hook, hook goes up, load, and you'll be loaded. Don't touch anything. You'll be loaded in the bird by the hoist operator. Unconscious, drag the casualty below the hoist, ace interact, put him on the hoist, hoist operator has it from there. I love how they mark Body bags cams. still need to get loaded There's onto the paypock manually via the load action which means we'll most likely need to push and clear an HLZ and bring the uh, and bring the the Payfock in low to load the bodies. I need to be evil. Let's, uh, yeah. Time to open up. I wanted to cover as much I, as I could for brief, but it's, it's time. This is covering for all of them, right? Excellent. Oh, and they're already aggroing. As you can tell by the flashlight movement. A little bit of light to yeah, work with. Just for the ace interact on <laughs> loading the body. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's going to be movement to con. You're actually going to go for it. Okay. Was not expecting that. Let's beat him back then. Oh, no, no. Let's see, I need flashlight toggle. I'll go over brief in a second, but the op has begun. Red Wings, if you don't know, is basically an operation where a four-man SEAL team got spotted um, by some goat herders. Goat herders told the local Taliban and uh, yeah. Then they got surrounded, and the first wave. Ah, here we go. Look grenade, watch it. So I told them to hold still, but they're gonna try to flip the script on me. So this is uh, this is gonna be something. Werewolf boy, thanks for the uh, 19 month resub of tier three. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Yeah, we're going to make them pay for this one. So Karma's guys are going to come in. They're going to land towards the south um, probably in the next at least 10 minutes. And these guys are going to be uh, yeah, in a lot of trouble because they decided to uh, try to get out of here. So this is me with my light filter on. But yeah, I warned them not to leave that position. Ah, I 
told them do not leave your spot, otherwise there's gonna be anywhere from like three to nine positions that'll have eyes on you, but yeah, they wanted to They Seven, wanted to play five, that game. Six. There goes the second one. Yeah. One second, I'm gonna text Dante for being a goober. Alright, he's back up. I'm curious why what the drone's seen at this point. Oh my god. They have one guy that's probably going to stay down. I'm going to look back at Karma's boys just to see what's uh, going on here. They're still uh, in brief. Pretty much good to <laughs> mount up. Uh, wait, eight. Oh, boy. Oh, freaking boy. I can't uh, actively go on a drone that's being utilized, so... They're getting their drops, though. I mean, if we actually track the amount of bodies that are down, there are quite a bit, but yeah, they're surrounded. I'm giving them a little bit of a breather here to give them a little more room because I don't want to kill them outright just yet, but... 1-6 Romeo, 3-3 three, three, Rishik. 1-6, this is Warlord. I hear you. Lima, Charlie, 5x5 five five on frequency. 3-3, three, three, over. Good job. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck me. Of course, Mac Marine's the last one. Oh my god. Guys, there's. I, I told you to stay put. Well, nah, Dante. Dante wanted to be special. Get up, 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 get up. I did. So they all have medical perms. They can all give blood. But this this is probably going to result in a KIA somewhere. I'm really curious though. Uh, if I were so, to go to my pies, I want to give myself some nods real quick. So I can see them on the ground. I want to see how screwed they are. But again, so these guys dead or alive are the objective. I just gave the option of hey. Let's uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? No, oh, my nods don't work. Lost a lot of blood. Still has a head injury, and they're oh, reopening. Shepherd, get up. I don't know why my nods aren't working. Lost a lot of blood. And lost a large amount of blood. Oh, Dante, you Send goober. Send goat team six now. Uh, this is not their liberation server. This is another server they have uh, that we reserve for private events. Or Karma Cut does. I'm just the guest, Zeus. But Ice Hawk, thanks for a 22 month resub as well. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. And if these four die, that's it for them. Because they're part of my guys that I brought in. But Lambs is slowing these AI down. I'll be sending another group down soonish. 
Let's uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? I'll probably have to leave a couple of you behind. I can take one of you with me. I'm giving him a second. Let's go look at the main player base here. Oh, Cap just began recording. Listen, I, I'm that's funny, the <laughs> the seals are nearly dead and the OCAP already began. <laughs> they just started. He said med perms are fucked. Well, okay, let's look at the add-on options here. I just assigned them all as medic. Uh, we have ace medical. Server side. Let's see, blood is set by, so wounded and can open, uh, allow IV as medic in anywhere, so it's their medical slots were, the medical perms got ripped off their slots and I just reassigned them, so they're not screwed anymore, but at the same time, I told them not to push out and they pushed out, so, yeah. Here. He gets one mulligan because I like him. One mulligan, and that's it, because I was hoping they'd last a little longer, but at the same time, they decided to push out and be silly. to have fun, but there's a reason I tell people to do things a certain way. That's okay. One mulligan. That's all we get. So how's everyone's day? Again, mission is simple. Four seals trying to get rescued, fight for their lives. They were supposed to stay static, but they've decided to test me, so... Rescue dead or alive by, uh... A platoon coming in, and we'll just have to see how this goes. Got some nice gloomy music for this one. Shut up, Ethan. <laughs> I'll let them wake up. I'm giving them this little breather. But after that, I'm sending... Throwing the book at him. Warlord, Romeo, message. Romeo, this is Warlord. Send message over. Warlord, when doubt is all set and go, have him TP to HQ element... Roger, HQ element is on which bird? Over. Uh, it is in range five one, the north bird. Uh, Roger, northernmost bird. Over. A for. A for Tango Mike will comply. Will go. It's okay, the QRF is kind of quick, but at the same time, it's also not so quick. So you got lasers from uh, the Predator tracking them. As now they've separated into two groups here. I, I gave them perms. They have perms, and if they don't have perms, then they're SOL. But watch. I'll do it again. Assign medic. Assign medic. Send in GOAT Team 6. Assign Medic wow. and Assign Medic. Damn son. If I hit Escape, Damn configure. Damn near two years of subage. Rainbows is crazy, yo. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm welcome. Uh, it is IV, Medics, location, anywhere. So, and they are able to self-IV. So if it's still not working, then I, honest to God, don't know. 
there's probably a secondary redundant setting somewhere that's overriding it. Do we have a check trade option? There's no... I learned something new every freaking day. I didn't know... Huh. Cool. Thanks, Mako. I appreciate it. I, I didn't know that existed. <laughs> yeah, so there's set his medics. So I, I don't know. Well, Valkyrie, you might have been able to tell I'm not that smart. Anyway, get good. Thanks for the 23-month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations. I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. But yeah, now we've got more people, if we take our light off, combing around right now. You got this fortified position signing their flashlights in that direction. This is what it actually looks like. Uh-oh. That guy immediately got dropped. Another guy got dropped. He just slid down. All right, Dow's coming back. I have to transport him to the lead. Vehicle there, and now I got to start dividing my attention. So again, I'm trickling forces in, but at this point, if these guys die, they die. And that's all I can uh, really do there. Because again, they're the objective and they're not my main focus, and I told them this. But at this point, all gloves are off because they are doing something I told them not to do. Uh, no, there's no uh, cat medical on this one. We're just using advanced uh, ace medical. It is pitch freaking black. And let me get him sorted. Or no, it's down. My bad. Doubt. Let me know when your kit's loaded, so I can teleport you in. Let me double check that this is good. Yep, yep, yep. Are we good? All right, stand by. Appreciate it. Doubt. I've got a second before they get on the LZ, so let's actually check kits here. So, he's got blood. I assume they're not getting up because the blood in coefficient is only one. So it's going to take a while for blood to actually enter. God, that hurts. If I were to teleport in, my nods are still screwed. Hey, buddy, I gotta fucking get you up and out of here some way or another. Here, I need to reset my frickin' nods because they're just not wanting to work for me. Uh, blood and plasma should be working the same way, unless, again, there might be some sort of hidden setting that I just don't know. There we go. Yeah, so I was told about that. So, uh, one second. Ropes weren't, uh, ropes weren't long enough, so now it's working, but that's funny as hell. Those guys are fine. All right, cool.
curious. Warlord, Romeo, message. Oh, my ears. Okay. Romeo, this is Warlord. Send message over. Warlord, requesting you, uh, break. Requesting you captive me and uncaptive me, currently in a prone glitch. Roger, can you pin your spot for me? Uh, over. Okay. Should be sent over. Copy, we'll check if it works further. Okay. Trait? I'm says a doctor and advanced engineer. Wait, so why wasn't I able to administer CLS? <laughs> this is going against what I know in terms of Warlord Romeo, uh, Rage 5-1 is currently having issues with our fast robes. Cannot, cannot uh, use them or cut them. Romeo, this is Warlord a -firm. What do you want me to do about it? Over. Uh, is there any way you can get the people inside the bird TP out of it? If not, we will attempt to cut, cut the trees and light it. I can uh, stand by on that break. Uh, let me know. Uh, I need a list of people to TP on the ground, and then I can uh, comply with that. Over. Copy. Wait one on last. Attempting a alternate solution. So you're saying there's another item that's needed? Because of course there is. Tell Dante to stand by. Let me see if I can figure that out real quick. What am I missing? Fast IO. 16G. Okay. Of course there is. Of course there is. <laughs> All right, <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Uh, quick thing, um, Dante. Can you tell BBT he can respawn? I'm gonna put him on his body. There's apparently a secondary <sighs> item to allow for blood bags to be transferred in that I wasn't told about or made aware. So I'm gonna put a crate down and pass that to you. I'm gonna ace heal this guy, and then we'll get that sword because I didn't know about this. So it, it's on me, but yeah. No, so stand by. Dude, it happens. <laughs> All right. So where was his body? Ah, crap. Where was his body? It was over here, I thought. Or did his body disappear when he died? This is gonna be interesting. All right, so where's BB? He's probably back at base. All right. All right, I'm gonna spawn some on my body and then drop him on this blood bag. So give me a second.
I'm surprised I fucking survived this long. Jesus Christ, you guys are queer miracle makers. Hey, baby. Pull up, friends. Oh. Nice crack needles, my favorite. Alright, give, uh, pick some of those up and we'll see how this goes. I don't know, so just pick five up, but after that, kitty gloves come off and I'm spawning stuff again, so. Oh no, not the kitty gloves. Right, I gave I him 20. Five. Wait, that was, that was the kitty gloves? Romeo, this is Warlord, message over. Go for Romeo. Uh, did you get that issue sorted, or do you still need me to uh, do some tech stuff? Over. Uh, negative. We are trying to, uh, solve it in-game. Uh, no need for TP this time. Roger. Uh, Tinkle Mike, out. Alright, you guys good? Band. Yeah, we're solid. Alright, just make sure you take him out, but, uh, yeah, I'm giving 60 <laughs> seconds and then stuff's gonna start coming back. Oh, that's the fun about working with a community is uh, slowly learning everything tied to them. So let's get that all sorted. And now we'll uh, we'll go for it. So they're working on trying to get that their issue solved in game. I'm starting to pull local forces over to try to check out what's going on with their landing, and yeah, well now we're gonna start putting stuff down again. So, how was everyone's evening otherwise? Going okay? Yep. Uh, Karma Cuts group is, I'd say, on the more serious side, definitely. Um, a lot of small things that I am slowly trying to figure out, yada da, but, you know, ironing out of any group. So, let's see. Toggle. Flashlights. Op 4. Enable that for everyone. We should be good. Alright, cool. Also, uh, even though Lambs overrides this stuff, I'm going to set it anyway. Actually, I'm not because they have a custom thing that's preset, so I'm not going to screw with that. I'm all right. Uh, now that that little debug thing's over, and now that I am going to throw these chuckleheads to the wolves, it should be interesting with what we have. So it looks like choppers are coming back. I got a weird body flying out over yonder. And things should be A-OK. -okay. But now again, I'm gonna start throwing the book at them. 600 seconds. I wonder if we all jumped on it, what it would be. <laughs> oh, it reset the timer. Otherwise, ground forces are deployed and starting to move in. Uh, my rule for these guys looks like they took out one team as they moved in. Uh, these guys like to fight on fair, so I'm only going to be throwing maybe a squad or two worth in total against them. But right now, it's just going to be fire teams. Uh, but my main focus is now going to be to route these uh, guys over here. Every time I spawn people, I need to uh, add in flashlights, so. Oh, wait, no. But just to get you a shot, like, this is what the whole AO looks like with all the flashlights added in. So, again, I, I like the fact that they have that high illumination with said flashlights. Oh my god, I am losing my mind with these key bindings. Uh, I think they are first person locked as well. Uh, uh, armed bams. Otherwise, they've landed, they're getting their stuff down, and again, I'm putting everything down at this point. 
But again, the objective is nice because it's literally trying to rescue people as I am constantly trying to dick them down. All right, TP to 1-1. One, one. Fist needs a TP to this group. All right. No, he's part of these guys over here. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, with that, things should be good. Jeez, Sidious. Blueberry's doing good. Uh, they're just starting to set up to start combing. Seal's position is found, and I'm slowly bringing in another wave of people to go out and look for them. But at this point, I am now going to do the evil thing and uh, have people push out of their trenches and start actively scanning around. Oh yeah, dead or alive recovery. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, no, don't worry. I have to, especially with this, we're going to start popping the flares out again. Thermal activity starting to come in. Hearing some explosions. I think that's uh, air taking out certain teams as the uh, QRF moves in. Which is fine. I've got some other groups trickling in on them. And I guess I just have some groups that are outright refusing to move, probably because the hills are too steep, which, again, it's fine. I mean, I'm hoping there's no blue-on-blue -blue incidents tonight. Uh, I guess one thing I could have done was given these guys some hunt IRs to work with, but, you know, Liru's mean. Fold out these two groups. Loop them on patrol. Because at this point, we're trying to be mobile. These guys are going to soon move out from their spots as well. So they have IR lights that, um, I mean, the drone already has a visual on them and has confirmed it, so. My one issue here is I don't know where this dude's body went. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that. I was worried about them potentially dying and then the bodies getting deleted, so. We'll see how things go. But Lamb's AI is just having these guys all sweep around, but eventually I've got other teams that will come in. And check things out, so we just got to give things time. And then I got this group running down as well, so. We'll see. These guys are simply holding and making an attack plan at the moment. Gonna do another wave of flares. We'll just do two for the moment. Oh, and then four. Two quickly becomes four. Alright, now we're starting to see some maneuvering. And now I'm going to send in some more units here. We're going to do an entire section. Omadita Sturam, Doramium, Kenidam, and 
شام میدم Uh, no, and these guys are running Lambs AI, and you don't want to add mortars to Lambs because it gets very, very messy. Hand of God's about to freaking smite my four-man team over here. I was heading down that hill. Yeah, now they're staying put as freaking the horde is... Oh, man. This is gonna be a mess. Roger. Wait until he peeks his head back up again, then uh, one of y'all take a fucking shot. Not everyone shoot at once. Vcom, you could calibrate a lot more than lambs. Lambs, you can literally calibrate all you want, but some base scripts will still override everything. But Vcom, I literally had a version of Vcom when I ran with TSB that had like 90% of it ripped, but uh, I still had the AI auto breach buildings. Uh, the vehicle pathing was pretty decent, uh, but like the mortar stuff and the AI relinquishing control from the Zeus interface to do their own thing, I ripped all that out and it was great. Uh, the one issue with Vcom, oh God, here we go. The one issue I had with uh, VCOM was um, every time it updated, they renamed the mod, which therefore renamed the files, and that became a pain in the butt to work with. Yeah, dinner bell. Dinner bell. Ross, you think so? 34 month resub. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. Do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Let's look at the uh, other player base here. They've all formed up. Something got taken out there. Flashlight's still on. They're going to start moving in. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, no. The ragdolls are crazy on this map because it's mountainous. It's mountainous. Clafgan hell. God, that is with my lowered volume, too. Oh, that beam was an IR laser from it. All right, switching back to night vision. Now those guys go around that side. Start at least aggroing everything. Okay, at this point... I'm gonna start honing things in. Some groups just might not want to leave their cover though, job, so we'll see how that goes. Gaurav might reach him in an hour. Might not. We'll see how things go. How are these guys doing back here? They're going to start getting planes up. Oh, joy. What the heck's back here? I have no idea what that was. It looks like a fry system, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, uh, I'm moving the uh, forces to where the gunfire is, not where their position is for that level of realism as well. But yeah, now I've got a lot of forces folding off their position.
one advantage these guys are going to have is that they, uh, the AI is actually behaving properly, uh, so they won't auto hone in on gunfire. They still need to illuminate the targets before they get the hits, but. So I still got those four running in. Again, it's going to be a race up on this ridge. I'm going to bring in some trucks in the AO to add more QRF. Uh, let's see. In order to do that, I'm going to put it right here. We're going to have... Uh, I need an open UAZ, so that's going to be one of these. Uh, I'm going to need to get it down over here. These two, Carol's hold fire for now in case air stops them or strikes them. And I'll just have to occasionally go keep an eye on them. Have the units start fanning out around here. Dante got blown away. Oh, oh no. There goes Dante's butt. Here's the thing though, the horde is gonna slowly come down. There's a bunch of guys up here. And I need to start deleting a few bodies here. That one I think was freshly ragdolling though. This is what it looks like from on the ground right now. They're gonna start working on Dante. Hey, Meanwhile, these guys are still moving from this spot. Oh boy. Air might come in and assist. See if that was air engaging. I'm pulling that patrol off the road so you don't get run over. Mac, I think, got hit. These guys doing? They still got this four-man group coming up on them. Got that whole group moving in. Dante's cross. Thanks for the six-month reset. Hope to keep you doing the operations. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Oh, did this guy? Okay, he ragdolled down. I was about to say, is he flanking him? And again, if you want to watch from Dante's POV, even though he's unconscious, <laughs> he is on the multi. 
They got they can last a little bit longer, but it's that window's running out because I got rear forces coming. I got additional QRF coming up in the form of trucks. It's a pretty big mess right now. I'm gonna pull these guys out of this position. Oh god! And once again, there's there's a big chunk of them. Yeah, they did put themselves in this position. I told them the kitty gloves are coming off, but you know, now I know they can at least blood bag each other. All right, so Mac is Mac is now down, but Dante's back up. Okay, let me check on the main player base here. Uh, we're tracking. These guys, again, I'm just trying to pad them over to what's going on here. Good grenade throws, but... Oh, boy. How are the trucks coming? Yeah. Goliath laser's getting... <laughs> it's clipping through the... <laughs> it's not supposed to be able to do that, but that's fine. Send in GOAT Team 6, now. Slowly creeping ever closer to 100 months. How badly are you killing the guys tonight? I'm throwing the book at him. Uh, just the AI are being incredibly nice. I got this other wave over here that's going to come up and cut him off soon. But killing Gao, 70 months, my man. 30 more to go for 100. Oh, boy. Thanks for all your support, my man. I hope you enjoy the next 30 months and hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Are coming up. Oh, wow, they spawned all the way down there. Oh, Dante just ate shit again. This might be the end for him. Gotta be careful with those grenades because they will roll downhill. This is me with the lighting module on. This is the actual lighting that they're fighting with right now. Shepard. And there goes BB. Oh no. And there go. There go the seals. Rest in peace. They made it a lot farther than I thought they would. Their original spawn position was, uh, let's see, which one was theirs? It wasn't that one. It was this one. So they moved up to this ridge, and then they tried to move to the right over here, and uh, that appears to be GG. I'm going to put a campaign lantern down. I am not taking hostages now.
دریافت شد دریافت شد شنیدم شنیدم اوه So now it's uh, all about these guys getting up and recovering the bodies. I'm going to leave the bodies here to kind of show what happened, but oh man. There goes Shepard's body. These guys do not want to move. I'm gonna crawl him up this hill then. But it's just the AI being the AI, I guess. There goes Dante. Air is now striking things coming up to them, but oh man. Oh, man. QRF was probably another 10, 15 minutes away at most. Now it's going to be a very big mess to get the bodies out and properly PID them. That rear group was taken out. Hey, Snake, what's up? Ouchie. Yes, they are like 10 minutes away from you and air finally started striking targets around you just as you all went down. Uh, about, about time. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's lore accurate QRF to, <laughs> to how it works. This failed clearly because air was sleeping. <laughs> to our, no fault of our own, of course. I'll come back in a few sealed. minutes. Oh, man. So again, objective is to get their bodies dead or alive at this point, but... Uh, I think all of them are dead. I have an idea. Because one guy got knocked out. Did he just die? Damn it. I was going to teleport him down and let him keep going, but a little too slow. Oh, well. It'll be an interesting PID for uh, this here. Let me go ahead and toggle flashlights. Uh, flashlights for op 4. is doing that. Do they have an Apache? Oh! They got an Apache. <laughs> so, so they have an Apache that just got over and started killing the guys. I, so that's what that was. Like now, now the airs are starting to do their job. <laughs> I think air got slowed down because they had an issue with the fast ropes. First, they deployed the fast ropes too high. So, like, the first six people that went down still had, like, oh, 10 no. meters. And they fell, and I was told to ace heal them. And then a few other people got stuck because their fry system broke. But then they handled it in uh, server. So, they were delayed to just equipment malfunctions. So it, that's oh, fucking... Geez. Oh, I mean, that's on par. It's, yeah. Honestly. No, like, for, for what this is, this is pretty realistic. BB, if you survived for another 10 seconds, I would have teleported you down and revived you. I was too slow, though. As the, you know, the one guy that got GL got knocked out and then woke up later, but... Oof. Yeah. That, that fucking awesome. I think I was the last man standing. You were. You were. Yeah. you were trying to do medical, and this one guy with an FAL just walked up, put his flashlight on you, and just dinged your butt. The fucking... I, I, I opened medical on you to see if you were even close to being alive, and I was gonna try to work on you, and then I look up, and I see an FL, FL just in my face, and I went, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck>. Anyway. <laughs> so that's what 760 tastes like. 
So you guys can uh, watch on my stream right now, but now I think they know where your bodies are, but now they're going to deal with all the people that uh, were trying to kill you. And this is, I think, yeah. the most people they've ever fought. So we'll we'll see how I it mean, goes. Honestly, to be completely fair, we moved out pretty fucking far. You, we yeah, you did like... better than what I thought you would, but you're crazy. I told oh, you to yeah, hold no. still. <laughs> no, fucking bad shit insane, dude. Like, as soon as I started seeing flashlights get closer, I'm like, yeah, we should probably fuck off. Yeah, no. dude, I... I... That, like, anyway, I gotta focus on them now, so, um, yeah, yeah. good luck. I'll just... <laughs> oh, man. Now this is where... This is where the real mess begins. Oh. I'm glad they brought that Apache in, though, because... Oh, boy, and I got all this QRF coming up here. This will be an interesting one. But again, air got delayed here um, because of all those tech issues. And I think had air got like not had those tech issues, then uh, or equipment malfunctions, whatever you want to call it, then I think uh, seals might still have one or two guys alive. But also it was because the pacing for them was a little rough. But I think that was fair for what happened, uh, despite the uh, IV malfunction and, you know, I, I mulliganed them for that, which only worked in their favor because it gave the player base uh, trying to rescue them more time to move in. But I really like how this went. I want to do more, and I hope uh, Karma enjoys this because now the real tough part for his guys is going to be getting to the bodies. I put a lantern down to help, but as you can see, there's a lot of bodies here, but as they move to the Lantern and kill the guys with the flashlights, then this will get a little uh, easier for them to PID. But this is going to be a nightmare for them. Because this is the most guys I think they've ever fought in a direct engagement. So... Oh, Air is also lining up on the QRF coming up, which is great. Uh, my AAA was hit there. Hand of God lasers going in. Oh, boy. But it sounds like Dante's team had fun. I hope Mac Marine had fun as well, because he was also a fill and I put in. Tell me what distance did you need to where, where I think they're going to open up with their 240 gunners right, right here, too. This is going to be awesome. Fred, move that gun down but I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. It was a pretty nasty slaughter, though. But look at all the look at all the uh, black symbols of all the dead units they got. They definitely went out with a bane for four dudes, but... Oh, messy. But just goes to show, if we were to run this scenario again and Air didn't have those tech issues, I think they'd still be alive and the Apache would be covering their asses as best they could. But here's the thing. Logically, these guys don't know that these guys are here. They just got four of the SEAL guys, and they might have had, you know, Air trying to hit them and whatnot, but it's very disorganized. So as soon as the bombs start falling and everything, then things are going to get messy. Yes, there's been a few airstrikes, but the net right now is being flooded with... Uh, these guys on top of the bodies. I know for a fact Karma's gonna yell at me over the amount of people that are down, but, uh, or the enemy AI, but again, the intention was to have the air assets have a lot to shoot at. Is that? Yeah, they're doing some rocket runs here. There is some utter confusion down on the ground right now for these guys. So if they if they stayed in their hole, so I'd only be throwing like four to eight guys at them. But you know, Dante's crazy, so <laughs> uh, they would have had a much higher likelihood to survive. But again, I chose Dante for a reason. Yep. Bro, uh, I want you to get the southwest breeze, and then you have a weird slant. The, the seal team is bearing zero one two. 460 meters One, three, away. Established. What I'm wondering is if they have eyes on some of the seal bodies here. I can see multiple silhouettes here. Blue's coming up now. I can't see his uh, vision. So now it's just the real toughie of getting in there, getting the bodies, and then getting out. But I'm not making this easy because everything that was swarmed in is now uh, covering the bodies essentially. So we got one body right there, one body right there. I don't know where the other bodies went. They probably slid further down. 
If it's a black mark, though, it's uh, not a body. It's tough, though. Oh, third one's right there. What just happened? executing shot. So three of them are caught right there. The fourth one I have honest to God, no idea where it went. Uh, I need to start deleting some stuff here because the sheer amount of fire they are putting out is actually causing the server to have a little bit of a lag spike. That's hilarious. Trying to cut what I can here. <laughs> Freaking god. So air still chewing on that. Yeah, this is with my Lord Volume 2. It would be deafening otherwise. Start putting some flares out there. Oh, no. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So they're all right there. Yeah, it's because they have custom sound mods. But yeah, lambs. I think what also caused those frame spikes was all those units uh, kicking into lamb scripts. And uh, that's why there was a momentary lag spike right there. But yeah, my QRF's getting chewed up by the chopper, so there's not really much I can do there. I'm trying to bring my units around because we're trying to figure out. It, it's basically chaotic at the moment. I'm going to try to retreat a few units. It's not, it's not going to go well. Also, it got a little brighter, so now the AI can see a little bit better, which is going to be nuts. I'm going to respond with a flare over here.
This is what I'm looking for. Now there's a little bit of short range fire here. Also, part of my camera work, it's because this uh, various slope terrain is messing with it. So they got an IR beacon right on where the bodies are specifically. So let's get so back and forth fighting. I'm actually going to recommit some of these guys. I'll keep a few of them trying to run away, but yeah, it's, it's a mess down here. I'm going to delete these chunks of bodies, but I'm pretty sure that lag spike was actually just Lamb's AI scripts kicking in. Because when you have that much AI and all that crazy stuff going on, then that's usually what you get. Which again, nothing wrong with that. And now they're sweeping. We got lights for them on the ridge. Conundrum, thanks for the 18 month resub. Six. Hope you keep enjoying yeah. the ops. Hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Yeah, so they're starting to secure the bodies. Hey, I got the seals. Let's, uh, let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? There's air chewing some stuff up. You can hear uh, AGM coming in, and they're dead. Hey. But this was, again, the, I think most AI they've been in in a direct firefight, but this was like a platoon versus, I want to say a reduced platoon of uh, towel heads, so. I'm going to start flaring again. It is kind of a, a little morbid to say, but I'm happy all the seals died in the same small area, so they're easier to find. You got body one, you got body two, Ow. body three, and uh, body four. And I'm going to be adding them to my interface as they deal with that. I think they're packing body two now. Yep. And now to be evil. I'm going to level with you. I don't even know if I fired that on the right ridge. From the sound, it looks like I did, but I was completely off because it's pitch freaking black. So, I will be even more evil. The red flare will guide me. And once again... It went a little high. Yeah, Alright. They got all four ba bodies here. Maintain security north. Red team, uh, off of my position, get me security to the east. Yeah, 
Oh, did Doubt die? Oh, now they're the interdicting forces are coming in. So I gotta wonder, where's Karma in all of this? All right, he's right here. So there's some dudes intermingling. Oh boy. Got some units try to trickle back in. Moose? Yeah, I'm over here. Find him. Just thinking anything else I send in at this point is going to get airstruck. So I'm just debating what else I want to potentially put in. Uh, I'll commit this four-man team. But again, I was just balancing out the frame loss from lambs, but we should be good. Come to the north of the bodies. Now what I want to also do is be evil. Start bringing in very long range QRF into here. Probably won't make it in time, mind you, but. I can do my best. Just want to bring it so far out that. Uh, it goes outside of air's uh, thermal. Yeah, so that's plenty of stuff to uh, trickle in here. Yeah, I don't have any freaking weapon that can engage that freaking Apache. 99% sure that was a miss pain. Where did these guys come from? Oh, oh no. Oh no, my boys, anyway. That's yeah. Dow's body. Ah, oh, so that's Doubt's body. So he did die. Dang. I thought they'd be able to save him, but yeah, he just got tagged by a PKM gunner. Oh, that sucks. See that desync, though? That's what's kind of scaring me here, because I have no idea if that's lambs being lambs or something else. I'm trying to think what else can be done. It seems to be yeah, when I'm hearing really, the aircraft like fire at things, which to me makes me think it's the AI adapting to being shot at by air, but I, I could be wrong. Oh, these guys are totally distracted by air, though. That's the funny thing. I mean, if air gives me an opportunity, I can't shoot them down. It's just finding that opportunity is incredibly difficult. One of them was telling me I could igle him this op though, but I'm not I'm gonna to make these all lined up. Hunt them down here because I think the op is uh, gonna wrap up soon. I'm bringing in some far QRF, but everything else should be set here more or less. Again, I've got more QRF trickling from various directions, but oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just thought of something evil. Oh, that's that's really evil, Liru. 
If he survives and they try to land the... Oh. Well, they're going to land a Pavehawk, not a CH-40... Or, excuse me, an MH-47, but... Black Hawk down is Black Hawk down. Say again, Lasso, over. Oh, boy. Now, granted, it's going to be pitch freaking black, but if I hear that chopper coming and he's alive, I'll flare around, and if I see that chopper, I will aim for it. Can't guarantee I'm going to hit it, but I'll aim for it. Yeah, they have a Pavehawk doing the uh, medevac because they use the Chinooks to insert. Air flying over these infantry groups, though, is probably going to uh, stall them, in all honesty. Yeah. Shame about the fifth body, but yeah. it happens. Range approximately 200, right? You know what I am going to do, though? I'm going to be a jerk. Where's uh, another 23? <laughs> Where is, uh, let's see. Where's Middle Eastern Insurgents? Why am I blanking on it? Yo, we'll just use Takistan Insurgents, whatever. That's APCs. I want another 23. Because Liru is evil. Path, go. What? Hey! Drive! You monster. Come on. Don't fail me now. Come on, we're just getting a little bloodthirsty. Alright, just, just a tad bit bloodthirsty. Are you auto-aggroing? No? So what's the same? Why aren't you driving? These guys doing. Change uh, uh, one eight zero. HLC Hope Northwest. You see it? Okay. Gun to one. You are clear to commence engagement. Go ahead. Uh, Northwest. HLC we're gonna push. Hope. We're gonna push to HLC Hope and uh, exfil from there. Okay. Got at it. least get the ca casualties out. Okay. Understood. And and we need everybody out Please there. We're just the casualties. Oh, air is finding my QRF. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Hey, guys. I would scatter, but you're already dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's no bueno. That really is no bueno. So he's got a laser train on my dude. Here's what I'm curious about. There's no way in hell I can see that. Okay, so I can't go under him and shoot him. Too dark. <laughs> that looked unfair, because it was! Oh, you silly, silly monkey. You're about to get struck in the face by uh, some sort of missile. Probably uh, an AGM. Alpha, where are you at? Uh, 250 meters south of my position. Well, here comes Hand of God. Why are you moving? Ah, Lamb's AI. Never change. So where is... Uh, they mentioned Hope. Okay, so over there and I got QRF coming in. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to aggro you and hopefully you'll keep moving. Cool. Just in case the Apache wants to play chicken with me and I actually get a chance to shoot at it. I could probably trace the muzzle flashes of that 25 or 30 millimeter gun. I forget which one it is for an Apache, but you know, there's... Uh-oh. 
Hey, if you're smart, you'll cut your flashlight. It's okay, I got you. I got you, buddy. Because you have plot armor, we're gonna just... Yeah. Oh my god, did you just get blown away? Nope. <laughs> That's funny. You know what would suck if that 23 started... You know, I didn't think about that. That could be really, really bad. Like, I actually get in trouble bad. Because the 23 could just literally shoot everyone on the hill. I didn't think about that because normally in my ops that would never happen. But with lambs... With lambs... Liru might have made an oopsie. Liru might have made a very, very big oopsie if Lambs decides to commit horrible atrocities. Um, huh. Yeah. No, because I wanna, I wanna shoot Air. <laughs> <laughs> Air, uh, Liru, Liru might have, uh, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. The chat GPT AI mod? What? No, I have not, Mako. That sounds awesome and terrifying at the same time. Oh, no, they found me boys. No, please, they're just simple farmers. They don't know what they're doing out here. Right. Right, they'll be fine. Oh, it's on Steam. I thought it used to, I thought it was an Arma mod for AI. I'm like, oh cool, we're gonna play, replace lambs with chat GPT. Sure. I love how these chuckleheads are literally stuck down here. All right, so I got all five bodies. I just heard something. Oh, because the pave hawk's overhead and they're still scanning with thermal, so they might. Oh, dear. All right, I'm going to toggle the flashlights of these guys back on. Because I think by now it would be real reasonable. Or it might be this team. Okay, no, we're good. Hey, man, snakes are horrible, all right? I mean, <laughs> guns are important for snakes, man. All right, so they got all five bodies. Moving back with them. No, me boys! Oh, God, they're getting hit by something. Scatter. Scatter, you silly gooses. They're, uh, I don't think they're going to survive for lawn. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wait. All right. I mean, there's no threat of it now, right? So if I just hit that position, doing a risk assessment, risk assessment looks fine. Okay. Um... Don't do this at home because you can get in a lot of trouble. Liru is a totally fair Zeus and yeah, blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. That, uh, yeah. Wow. They're alive, right? Right? We're good? The, the loudness of that kind of made me, uh, giddy. On your marks. Huh. It is south. Well, Maldor, thanks for continuing your gifts up. I hope you keep enjoying the ops, and I 
Hope you get a nice kick out of this. No, me boys! Ha, you're the lucky one. Not for Lon, but yeah, you know, you'll he'll be fine. <laughs> Liru, no! Liru, yes! I just heard another missile launch. Climb! They're, they're not going to make it to DAO by the time they get picked up. See, again, what's really funny is around this position, this is where the seals spawned. Like, right down there. Oh, they're all dead. Well, we tried. Uh-oh. My uh, my fun thing is under threat. I think the Apache RTB to get uh, into some uh, vehicles to uh, get ready to push things over. I'm going to run these AI back up as well. Well, I came back just in time to uh, watch my 23 get annihilated. I think these guys are clear at this point. I don't think there's anything that could put pressure on them. I'm going to send some squirters over just to, just to politely harass. But again, I, I doubt we're at any threat at this point. There's still a chance with Chuckle McGee, who's using his flashlight as a lasso himself because he's scared of air assets because they killed his friends. <laughs> oh, my God. And, yeah, I mean, this just shows even if I wanted to run more AI up there, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do that. They've got proper air superiority. they got good IR cover. It's We're just in the end game here. But I'm curious, viewership, how would you like that? The four-man team liked it, even though I wiped them. These guys seem to be liking it. Things should be fine. Oh, I mean, they were... Again, I told them, if they just stayed prone in here, they would have been fine from every, like, all 15 defensive emplacements around, but they decided to run because Dante is uh, a monkey. And uh, he wanted to play it on hard mode, so... Yeah. It would have been a completely different op if they just held still and then Blue 4 had to, like, clear out all the positions because it's too many for air to strike. So it would have forced infantry to push in, and the infantry would have had more than one KIA because uh, what ended up happening was they pushed out, they died. I mean, look at all the bodies around. I want to say a fourth of them were done by the SEAL team. The remaining third, or, or three-fourths, eh, oh, it's actually a third were done by the SEAL team. The remaining two-thirds got opened up on by air and a coordinated strike on the ground, and then a half of their force went in and sweep and they only took one KIA, so not bad. But if uh my point was if infantry had to then push in and do it, there probably would have been a lot more KIA. Because I mean you can just see some of the positions that they have. And I think they're sighting the uh reinforcements coming up down the uh slope up there. Oh, yeah, with the moon now kind of out, they would see that. Start to take direct fire. All right, once he's good, what's that? Yeah, I think they're okay. talking about that. Well, yeah, no. Um, It's going to be up to Karma for what we want to do next, because either I'll do another one-off on the new mo uh, mod list he has, or what I've proposed to him is we keep Klafgan down, and we pretend that Red Wings, the recom op, was actually a success, and then we follow through with what the rest of Red Wings was supposed to be, two, three, and four. Uh, and we continue to use this map in case he liked the mountainous uh, style of it. But that would also mean we basically are going to do one or two missions up here and then one or two missions down here. Oh, excuse me, and follow through with the point. Because I told him after a few uh, simple ones, oh, they can cut trees, that's cool. Uh, after a few one-offs and I kind of learned the style of how these guys like to play, which I would say I've got it now, um, we can get into some like full-on mini campaigns and have ops build on top of each other. And the player base always seems to like my stuff here. But again, the like end goal with these guys is to also bring in more of my guys to play role play uh, ideas. And I mean, it, uh, you know, they play into the objective. And I, again, they seem to have had a fun time, but uh, whew, it can it can be a messy time. But uh, the next stop I do, if it's going to be uh, continuing one offs, is. Uh, Basically giving the keys to the castle for my guys to come in and be civilians and even some op four elements and just uh, monkey around. 
So we'll see how that goes. And then, of course, I need to ask Karma when the next Kill Cog event is because I want to commentate that bitch. All right, so they got the two CH-47s coming in. Following the trail. Sniper, thanks for the 12-month recent, my man. That gets you a Lance Corporal badge. I hope you keep yeah, doing the boy. operations, and I hope you get a nice kick out of the scenario. While we have a second, by the way, uh, Monday is going to be the next Starship Trooper op. Starship Trooper op 3 for uh, my guys. Tuesday is going to be another Halo op, and Wednesday we're going to kick off the last ship campaign again. Uh, I'm going to be blitzing through ops. I'm going to edit my uh, monthly rotation and just push it to the thir uh, not the 30th, the 25th. Uh, because from the 25th to the 30th, I'm actually going to go on a hunting trip. So um, when I come back on the 31st, or it might be the first of the next month at that point, we'll have a new rotation for everything. So I'm just going to focus on blitzing through uh, just a bunch of Starship Trooper, Halo, and um, oh my gosh, what's the term? La, the last ship campaign. Doubt, I know. I, you got blown away by a machine gunner, but I thought you would get... Um, I thought the medics would get to you, but one of these are you. You're the only guy in the QRF team that died. I'm so sorry, buddy. But I was, as I was telling my uh, viewership, I think this is the most, like, the biggest firefight I had in terms of numbers for both sides. And I hope Karma's not too mad about that, but... The amount of people that got dropped in that, in terms of the enemy side, was great. Are we getting paid later to get the bodies? What am I hunting? Uh, probably boars in Alabama, but I that might get changed up. My father is like me and loves to do things last minute, so we'll see what ends up happening. Starship Trooper, I do agree. The uh, the new game is pretty fun. I've I've been in sixteen player lobbies where I know everyone and. It, it gets very hectic. That, for the hardest difficulty, is really fun to do, but my god, you will die quick. But it feels like Starship Trooper. Uh, Delta, cool. Uh, don't drive and don't text your ex and you'll be fine. Feel free to make any other bad decision except those two. Alright, so these apes are freaking moving up the ridge here. In this guy, because I think he only has a Lee Enfield. <laughs> he uh, he didn't appear to last too long there, Chief. <laughs> yeah, my Lee Enfield. What's it gonna do? Oh, he's dead. Huh. I thought he'd last a little bit longer. I guess not. Oh my! Wait, are you still alive? Oh, <gasps> bro. Uh oh, hand of God's mad. Uh, he dead. Yeah, they're flashing it to let the guys on the ground know there's some intermittent hostiles coming in. These chuckleheads are gonna take too damn long, but that's fine. <laughs> Was that GL man? No, wait. That was a second Lee Enfield guy. I thought he had a GL. Oh well. I know I'm caster curse. I'm caster cursing my AI now. Who would have thought? Ah oh, man. But I really did like this type of dynamic objective. But we'll see how things go. We're also so tomorrow. I'm gonna be on the ground in another tactical community. I've seen what I'm getting into. I think it's going to be interesting, but I've noticed as I've been moving through the months, there's a lot of collabs I can bridge communities together with and whatnot, and MCO is going to be coming back, so well, we got a lot of fun stuff. But Doubt, thanks for the playing, man. Hope you had fun. Sorry you got uh, down by a machine gunner, man. It happens. No RPG, man. Please. Please. He's just a boy. Cut your damn flashlight, you idiot! Cut the damn flashlight! Uh, I'm rolling down the hill for my life! Lieutenant Dan, 
Thank you for the five gift subs. If you got a sub from Dan, make sure you thank him. Goat Team Six. Otherwise, hope y'all keep enjoying the operations. I know we got a nice kick out of this scenario. Princess with an emo unicorn. I I swear to God, I have dyslexia because I read that was princess with an emotional support unicorn. Christ, that's a good name. Crone. Goat Team. Damn it, Lambs! Let this man survive. He's he's needed for something later. Get back in there. Cause this man, this man has something special. Uh, cause I combat rolled him away. And again, he can, you can see on the ground where you're crawling. Fun fact, it should also be like super duper, oh no. Oh no, they're gonna come kill him. Ah, shit. is distracted by this stuff over here, which is kind of funny. I don't have access to flares anymore because most of my stuff's been killed, so... Wait, I got another RPG guy that might be an issue in a second. These guys run up quick enough. But that's the issue. They have to run up quick enough and they're going up terrain. This guy just running up with that. Oh god. Stay low, buddy. Air's gonna snipe that guy, I swear. Oh, they're even flaring him. Okay, you know what? Dumb idea. We charge. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Here's the deal, though. There's less, there's less people guarding now, so I might be able to get up and uh, do something in a second.
run, you chuckleheads, even though you're getting shot to shit. I'm gonna be honest though, in the darkness and confusion, I don't even think the freaking AI know what's going on. Lambs is taking control, and I, you know, I've discovered I can't even pathfind them back because AI, uh, Lambs will still just charge them forward, but it's like, well, I don't know what's going on. But Mad at TV, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. And then you have this team down here, and they're like, I don't know what to do, man. So, is Karma over here, or was he on the first bird out? Is that another body bag? Who died? RPG! RPG! Oh my god, I got it. <laughs> it is Red Wings, but it wasn't loaded with people, so. Oh boy. Here's the thing, though. I might have only booped it. I, honest to God, he needs to have his lights on for me to hit him. I don't know where the hell he is. I'm gonna get one more RPG. for the record told me or asked me if I was going to be taking one of the MH-47s down. I told him if I have the opportunity, I might. Oh, well, RPG gunner dead. <laughs> Can't say I didn't try because I did nail it with the RPG, but it looks like it hit a non-vital system because it's clearly still flying. <laughs> All right. I think that's GG. Uh, let me call it in. Romeo, this is Warlord on 3-3. Message over. I did hit one of them with an RPG. I so I, I at least... I was told I could. I tried. But they're still airborne. So I've, I've fulfilled my yeah. duty. <laughs> Fuel here pretty quick, so it might crash. Well, I'll check one second. I think Romeo's in the chopper, so he can't hear me at the moment. No, nope, not leaking. So what did I hit? Glass. I hit glass, and I damaged the engine by a quarter. I hit a window. I hit a freaking window with the RPG. <laughs> I blew up a window. I damaged all the windows. Well, almost all the windows. I didn't damage the cockpit windows, which is what these two are. Um, minor damage to the fuel tank. So I must have hit... 
inside the cockpit, or not the cockpit, I must have hit inside the back on like the left or right side and it just did no damage because what would have happened was if the rocket landed inside the frame, um, it would have damaged the like actual hull on the left or right side, which is why there's so much glass damage in here. This shows that it detonated inside of the helicopter, which actually, if it was filled with um, the QRF, that would have actually been uh, accurate because it would have killed everyone inside, but not taken out the chopper outright. That's funny. I get the shot correct, but <laughs> they weren't loaded in yet. <laughs> oh my God. I did my job. That's all I care about. And I hope they had fun. Romeo, this is Warlord on 3-3 interrogative. Over. Go for Romeo. Uh, what is the call for index here? Uh, since all assets are back at base. Over. Wait one. Roger, stand by. Because it didn't detonate up in the cockpit, I think it literally hit the left or right side. So... Warlord, Romeo, deep brief will be in him. Roger, Afer. So I think I hit it. Based on the damage of the windows, I think I hit it like here or here. So it wasn't close enough to kill them, but I think it, it had to have been more shallow like on this or this side. Rear interior on the left side, thank you. That's where I hit it. So it wasn't enough to damage any of the top systems where the engines were or whatnot. But again, as far as I know, the, the RPG actually went into the cabin and killed everyone. So that's that's weird how I get that detail right in this op and just random chance. But he had his lights on coming in, so I was able to hit him. Debrief for them is going to be in game. So if you want to be a part of that. Otherwise, you guys can go. Up to you. We got the shot right, but not the timing. But again, my job is to kill them all. All right? My job is to make sure they have fun. Did that stop working? Yeah, it's not. It's not fucking working. It worked in the beginning. Uh, it's a secondary laser pointer. Yeah, Oh, so when he respawned, it probably took the batteries away. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Oof. Oh, well. It wasn't working here on the fucking mountain. I oh. I that. It was like, fucking whatever. My bad, then. It's alright. We still all have lasers, so... Yeah. All good. Sorry about that. Alright. I'm gonna go debrief. You guys can join me if you want. Romeo, this is Warlord, message over. Go for Romeo. I'm bringing the other, uh, I'm bringing the four seals out, so, um, we'll be there in, like, 20 seconds, over. Copy, 20 seconds. Not fire a single round. Yes. <laughs> Christ. I fired one mag. I'm happy. Eddie, I just enjoyed the uh, flashlights in the distance, you know. I shot just so I could get my combat badge. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's, that's All right. First first things first. first. Big thanks to Lear. Ever say thank you to Lear. Thanks, Lear. Thanks, Lear. Thanks, Lear. Thanks, Lear. Thanks, Lear. I would also like to uh, ask if you guys can thank my four for coming in and uh, dying to play part in the objective. Thank you. 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 Thank back. Thank you. 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 I know there's no DUI. 
it's it's imperative that you guys are staying closer to your to your fire team leaders and to your uh to your squad leaders so you can rapidly take those orders and that accountability does not get fucked so do not go too far from your squad leaders from your fire team leaders especially with the conditions that we have um visibility mobility concerns as well as the lack of technology like we need to be standing closer together and hold that um and hold accountability uh, better because that was uh it, it got pretty Christ fucking God. wild out there did you fucking break something no i, just, <laughs> I dropped something oh god <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so fucking let's start uh, on the infill on the infill is flight here no they're over there I, okay I the, um, uh I flight misjudged the distance for the ropes um that was that was the first mistake uh you know thematically in all in all seriousness when they actually did the drop it was pitch black and they couldn't even see where the bottom hit the rope so that was thematic uh although <laughs> our rope was nowhere clear to the ground um thank you Leroy, for being on top of that, before i said <laughs> yeah we just need to be sure that uh we just need to be sure that he's talking about me a the people, people that for those fell. um that's i was told to we'll watch for that just in I case know we have a new a new pilot uh working tonight as well okay um yeah I know with the lack of technology is difficult. Both the birds ended up being 600 meters away. So that's just a flight thing. Uh, Here, real quick. I uh, just want to delete all that stuff. Get rid of all that. That second bird around, we had some kind of ace glitch. Better it friends. happens uh, in the future, right? Just abort, wave off, try to work the ropes again. Um, in that case, we're going to have to pinnacle or put her down. We eventually figured that problem out. It is very rare that things break, but things do break, in which case we just need to have contingencies. It took us a little long to figure figure that out and to get that second bird down with the terrain consider considerations we're working with. Eventually got it down and uh, we regrouped the elements. Um, oh, I have a question in regards mm -hmm. to that. Um, so I was the first to notice that uh, the ropes were like not working anymore. Mm -hmm. Do I have the authority to abort? Yeah, of course. Because uh, I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't know like. Like, if I had known that, I would just have, like, no. You are the him. rope master, so yeah. Okay. okay. Right. I'll keep it in mind for next time. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you uh, after mm -hmm. this yeah, as well for the other stuff as well. Um, anyways, that was the problem with the infill. There was a lot of um, weirdness with flight tonight, but we figured it out, worked through it, and then we got everyone on the ground. Uh, pushed up to CP Alpha, attached guns, and continued on to um, the objective. We're working on a time-sensitive target tonight. I know it's very, uh, we don't hit time-sensitive targets that much, but pacing is of the utmost importance, like working through problems and continuing to move. You see flashlights, 1.3 clicks out. Guess Where's what? It's 1.3 clicks monkey out. that fucking that decided okay. to push him out? Um, we had way there too many is. of these instances where guys were spotting stuff like one Took plus over. clicked out and we were halting the, the entire formation in order to address. Keep no moving problem, until we hit contact or we need to deal with a certain problem. Let it handle uh, contacts uh, at range or we'll handle contacts when they get close enough to handle them. Um, so just once again. Keeping the momentum, especially when we're on uh, some form of QRF or rescue uh, op. Uh, we continued through to CP Charlie, uh, at which point in time we had a trail uh, element push against 1-1. One, 1-1 one, one, one set ambush. How'd that go? Uh, relatively well. Just only a four-man patrol. Basically okay. came online with the gun team and engaged. Cool. Um Awesome. And then I know this is where a weirdness thing happened. We ended up being like, I think, one click spread. Ideally, that doesn't happen in the future. Uh, and we're, we're dark. tighter together. But so hope you warm I think 1 8 was trailing. Is that right? Yeah, we left their our Bravo. Oh, team I did too, Slick. Them, so yeah. he was alone. Yeah. It's for, for a week hit, though. For an op that had a lot of air coordination required, especially for Casavac, and only having one fact, I think we did all right. Um, when it was juggling a lot uh sam i'll probably have you spun up on that stuff so you can help him in the case where he's alone got it <clears throat> uh otherwise continued pushing up um one three spotted contact front uh we finally got visual on the seals and then we established sbf one three my intent was to hold you where the sb initial sbf was where one four was uh and then i noticed you're at foxtrot was there a misunderstanding here um yeah, I thought we were just supposed to get in there. Okay, so just a reminder, first squad, whenever we hit contact, generally going to be the base of fire or SBF, so you should set up there. One four pluses you up, and I have the second elements, uh, flank security and assault, right? This is platoon attack. We practiced this, practiced this multiple times. Um, just need to practice this a little bit more, uh, I suppose. Uh, but this is just a platoon attack, essentially. So first squad plus SBF gets established. 
second squad uh, and third squad stand by for flank and uh, assault or flank and security. Wait, <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you mm -hmm. can you clarify for three like what? So what one three we're pushing up. Happened? Right, one three pushes up. You spot contact, right? You spot mm -hmm. the contact here. You should get online and ready to engage, right? I collapse one four to you, right? Standard platoon attack stuff. Remember? Uh, so I was just too far up. I should have like held further back. Yeah, like I feel second... like on my perspective, I mm -hmm. was like my squad was online and like we were looking at the the enemies ready to engage the dudes that were like we're standing work, but above that was the seal team. Right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. So we were just too far up. You wanted us further back. So when did you spot them though? Is the question. We spotted them like all the way back, halfway in between Delta and Echo. Yeah, we okay. had large amounts of visibility on them for a long time. That's why I called up to you and said, "Hey, what are we doing here?" Was because okay so so distance wise right we're looking for like uh four to six right this is like the That's perfect range and we have the high ground in order to shoot down on them right for sbf so i probably should have called you to hold here and establish maybe there's a miscommunication i know once again tonight no c tab um very hard to keep accountability of everyone but in the future, establish sbf collapse guns and then we send the assault squad along red does that make sense cool okay uh Otherwise, we rolled with it. We, we we kept on rolling with it. One, two, one, three for assaults. And then we had one, one on rear security, one, four solo on SPF. And that worked out just fine. Um, so not not a big, <laughs> I'm, I'm nitpicking this whole one, three thing, okay? Otherwise, flank, flank security set, SPF set. Uh, we initiated, right on, just a reminder, when we initiate, you guys got to be careful, especially with intermingled um, friendlies on, on the target. So pretty much shooting know what you're shooting at don't just shoot in the foliage don't just shoot in the rocks you guys have to be much more uh much more specific with rounds on that um or even just fire above or off center but otherwise that went okay one two and one three then put, began pushing in we started having some problems right okay so one two one three was on left flank right one three here and then one two was right here correct for the west part ish I have no clue, to be honest. <laughs> and, and, and let me and let me tell you why is because it was never communicated to me that one three was with us on assault. I heard that they were following a zoom, and that was the last thing I heard. Okay. So the only the only time I knew that one three was with us is when they pushed in front of our line of fire while we were bounding into contact. Okay, so people just getting lost. I know it's hard. It's hard. Um, no map markers or anything. So. 1-3 should have always 100%, no matter what, have been behind 1-2 and fallen support, right? So whether guys got lost and uh, missed track, like, it should look like this. This is what it should look like. Ah! Ideally, what happens here is 1-2 pushes up to assault. 1-3 is standby to fall in support. 1-3 should hit contact, or 1-2 should hit contact, and 1-3 should naturally know, okay, we need to support, and locks down most most likely the left flank, right? Because right flank that, is that, covered by us. That's what we, we were doing. We were locking down the left side. Maybe like in the dark, some guys got intermingled because it was a clusterfuck of like 30 dudes all in one spot down in trees mm -hmm. and we couldn't like see anything. So, but yeah. but yeah, our intent was to go and lock down that left side. Yeah, and that's what I think kind of happened, but it also got really confusing. So take it slow, stay together. You are going to have to play much closer together when we did the 2000s era shit because we're working with so much less information than normal. Okay? Yeah, I, to be honest, I think the biggest thing between you and I, Adultus, is if you're pushing up like that, right, just check in with me and then we can communicate together, like, what's going on. The problem is neither of us communicated. Uh, and, and, you know, I tried to raise you a little bit after the fact, and I don't think I quite got a hold of you until we found the bodies and we're trying to wrap them already, but... Tonight we could very, really, I, I could very clearly see the players who play with their C tab up and stare at their C tab. Okay, <laughs> tonight you can very clearly see who plays like that. Um, but anyway, like maintain visual, maintain situational awareness. Don't rely on the C tab too much. Okay. Uh, once you pushed in, other than that, like that's all I have to say here. Just one three. Just keep an eye if you're falling support. Know where one two is, um, and both of you communicate together uh, together much better. Otherwise, one two. How is the line push? The line push was fine. We ended up, uh, once we hit contact, we were alternating bounding through uh, to our LOA. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. We had, we didn't have <clears throat> really any problems until 
after we hit LOA. Okay, and then Doubt went down in this push. What happened? He was stood up on the top of a crest while we were pushing, just got blasted by AK. Fell dead. Okay. Was he in front of you? Uh, he was in line with Bravo, I think, and Alpha was bounding ahead of him. I, I don't quite remember. Okay, uh, Raj, no Bravo worries. also had uh, elements of 1-3 pushing in front of us, which was weird. Yeah, no, we yeah, talked about that already. We just talked about that. We talked about that already. Um, just gonna have to get used to playing with that C-tab, guys. Okay, uh, we continue pushing 1-2. Once again, platoon attack, squad attack, right? 1-2 should stop where? <laughs> How far does 1-2 go? <laughs> I'm sorry. About 50. <laughs> you go you go about 30 past that last dude you drop uh, that was funny okay this should be a no-brainer right oh, you're going about 30 no you go grenades range like 30 oh, meters okay. past that last body okay you. once you go 30 meters past that last body you don't have any more bodies you call loa all right so one two should end up like this right let's assume last body's here you're not going through and and and, and checking the the seals yet okay we're pushing through to loa that's the first thing finish the fight right so one, two should be pushing through all the bodies, dead checking enemy you come across and bypassing the seals, okay? If anything, your AR, ARFR is the only one that stops to handle things here. But otherwise, one, two ends up online here. One, three should naturally end up where? On follow and support. Covering a uh, flank. left flank. Correct, left flank. Yeah, we have the answers now, don't we? Okay, so one, three <laughs> should end up here, right? Still. Not worrying about the seals yet, clearing through to LOA, because we haven't cleared through. There still could be guys. We don't want to be treating dudes with, with, with insurgents and bushes, right? We push through LOA. One, three, <gasps> one, two, link up. We have someone on the apex here. You guys link in. We get it all sorted, right? And now we have that 90 degree bend, correct? It's now a horror okay. op. LOA, LOA gets called. At that point, <laughs> we can push special teams out. Whether it's EPW or Aiden Litter to check the bodies, okay? That's the only time we're going back to, to, to check. Okay. So, Karma, hold on, because mm -hmm. I think this is another miscommunication issue. One of the other things is I did not really treat this as a platoon attack because I did not assume it to be a platoon attack. Um, I, I expected that this was kind of a react to contact and we had the SPF set up alternately. There wasn't, you know, necessarily any good phase lines, any clear LOA, and it didn't seem to me like that SPF could actually provide support for us. So that's where a lot of the confusion had come is we had already hit LOA and I just didn't call it because I didn't find it pertinent to. Oh. Can I interject on that? Uh, Go. If you're doing a react to contact, you're automatically going to be doing a platoon attack, whether it's hasty or deliberate. Yeah, it should. It should. No matter what, this this is a platoon attack uh, or a squad attack. It's the same thing. You, you still need to call all away. It's still it's still pertinent. We we can we can we can go more depth on that later. But this is how they should get played. Like this should be unspoken. That that feels different from what we've trained, but I'm gonna trust you on that one and just like, move even, on. Even even if this uh, is a yeah, reacting yeah, yeah. Air ambush, right? Even if it's a reacting air ambush, you assault through, you call LOA, it's the same thing. You don't check bodies until LOA, and you send guys back. Even if even if there was no SBF, we can remove SBF from this equation. If you're pushing it alone here, you still right. push through so, the LOA. So hold on, because because I don't mm -hmm. think I think you missed the important part. We had already hit LOA. I didn't call it. Okay, that just needs LOA needs to get called. That's it. LOA always needs to get called. All right. As soon as we get LOA done, send the EPW special teams out. Um, we can start dealing with wounded. We can start dealing with prisoners, and then we can we can sort things from there. One two one three. We got set up and established. We collapsed one one four, uh, and then we collapsed one one. One one was here, right? So we established essentially as much of three sixty that we could. Um, one four then attached guns. We had two forties on all on all lines. Correct. One four. As far as I can tell, yeah. okay. I did not get an attachment. I can't see it. At, so. at least, at least yeah, not as, as much tell. as they checked in. So I don't know if they checked in and I missed it or what happened. In but... brief. Okay. Let's uh, let's All right. Uh, welcome, uh, just we? need to get better. <laughs> we just need to practice without CTAB. Um, if anything, we called leaders huddle here, right on the on the on the on the last on the bodies. On the bodies. Um, if we need to attach guns, one four. Remember, we can always pull the guns in here because the guns will find the team leaders here. Yeah, I had him. I had him do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All good. Otherwise, uh, and then the team leaders grab them and you push them back to the back, back to the line after leaders brief. Uh, we met here. We established our exfil plan. Uh, primary was HLZ Hope. Um, we established one two as the casualty squad. They took custody of the bodies. One one led out. 
uh, and cleared through. ISR picked up that HM28 was going to be a better HLZ than Hope, as it was much clearer. Um, terrain was going to be a problem all night. We had to pick some hill to exfil on. There's no way, unless we're going to hike at, hike it out to point whatever clicks um, onto a road or further off. Like these peaks were the best that we had. Uh, so we established security on HM28. 1-1 one, one established north side security. 1-2 established west side security. 1-3 established rear security. Uh, uh, had 360 security, set up guns on all three lines. Um, and secured the HLZ. <clears throat> uh, this is where it gets messy, part two. Um, Exfil plan was to have the first bird take one fire team from each squad, so we had 50% security up for the second bird. That went all fine. First bird, all good. PZ'd up, got on the bird, no problem. Uh, seven, unless you have any notes on that, Exfil. Uh, that's the PC, I think. Um, regardless of if we're, if we're playing with C tab or not. Oh! At this point, the PC should be pretty simple as far as there's some sort of um, marker or something that you, you can like basically tell where the PC starts at. Uh, it just got too messy for absolutely no reason, I feel like. Yeah. That's my only note. I tried to have Sam uh, orient the elements for the PC. I uh, could probably done much cleaner. And I was Seven gonna, was, I was also. Gonna, yeah. I was going to make my way, but then uh, I think it was point good out. that I didn't because. Loading the birds. There was some weird issue in Grizzly kind of test. Um, it didn't let us like drop the body right away, like wiggle it around and click a couple of times for the body to actually drop. Mm -hmm. So you know, if we wanted to get out of there as fast as we could, I think um, me staying with Grizz was absolutely the right decision. It's just the PC, which mm -hmm. you know, All good. I shouldn't yeah. be it, a PC going well shouldn't be determined by me being there. In like all honesty, but uh, I understand the uh, the approach. Yeah, Sam, did you have any issues getting this PZ sorted? Uh, no, PZs end up being pretty fine. It was a little close effect right right until the very end. Okay. All right. The only note I have about this HLZ is get off the HLZ and don't drop the body bags directly on the HLZ. <clears throat> right. The birds need a clear space to land. Once the bird lands, we can push bodies and push the PZ to the birds. Um, so in the first case with the bodies, it probably would have been safer or made it easier for the pilots if you push the bodies closer to where the dugout is and not in the center of the open, because uh, you're essentially creating a uh, an obstacle for the pilots to land. So clear the HLZ, HLZ as much as possible. Um, body bag should be close, but not where the bird's going to touch down, because you're now creating an obstacle for the bird. Um, second thing, on that second exfil call, right, on that second bird, um, this is where things got a little fucky. PZ was oriented north. I think the majority of people understood that PZ was oriented north. Um, well, two things about this, right? The first is when PZ is called for, you need to push the PZ. We can still fight from, fight from PZ. It's not as ideal, right? But it's it's there's two things that are happening. The first is the pilot can only come in when the HLZ is clear. I had guys <coughs> on the HLZ fighting. <laughs> If you're on the HLZ fighting, the bird cannot come into land because you are literally obstructing it. So you have to come off that HLZ to let the bird come in. It is dangerous. I know we're getting shot at. It's the best we have to work with. But no one's leaving if guys are standing on the HLZ. So you need to push to PZ. I, I think I had like four guys here uh, fighting on the HLZ proper. Once you pulled off, and I know we had contacts close, but... We, we can fight them from the PZ. We're going to have to fight them from, from the PZ. Alternatively, we abort and we find another HLZ, right? But no abort was called. 1-2 um, one, pulls in for PZ. 1-1, one, one, I think, gets stuck fighting on the HLZ, continually calling 1-1 uh, one, one to push into PZ. Eventually, we, we get you guys into PZ, and the bird can finally come into land. But the bird was in loiter um, on the south, waiting for you guys to clear it. Yeah. Uh, I should have probably called the. Then I gave it off because these guys one two were engaging. We're literally right mm -hmm. here. We we had to engage them right there. Okay. They That's were, the one guy I see. Right up here as one two's pushing out. That's why at one point I got in contact one two to tell them to keep bounding. We could suppress them and then we we tried following trail of them. I think I okay. pursued him I there and then he ran at over. At the very like, least, range. just be conscious of like where you're standing because even then. If we don't abort, don't just don't Sip, fight Jesus. on the HLC. <laughs> like like at least push off so the bird can come in. Um and then you can you can mount it from here as needed, right? Uh but if we're delaying and we're delaying and we're delaying, um 
we either need to call that aboard, that board needs to get pushed up, uh, or we need to just get on the board, right? We just need um, to. <laughs> okay. Like in in, in in all honesty, these guys get called out earlier, and then we 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 fight or we abort and we push off and establish new HLZ. I'm sorry. But it was already on final. Um, the abort was probably going to cause more issues than just getting on. RPG hit the bird, which I think freaked a lot of people out, and the PZ formation broke. <laughs> uh, I think, Gooms, you're oriented to the south. The head of the PZ was north, and I think most of the people were waiting for you to move, but you're looking back at them. Um, we eventually, after the initial break of the formation, like, people started to go from the 6 o'clock of the PZ, but this was like, I'm going to have to watch this back in OCAT, because this got really messy. It should have been something like this. Uh, it, it turned into a bum rush. It was a bum rush. It, it was like a line it was not fun. Formed at the bird, but like moving from the PZ or like the original PZ to the bird was mm -hmm. a rush. Yeah. So this was. I know it's stressful, but like it just oh, shows. A pilot. Just need to need to train it more. Okay. Stay in PZ. Know where the front of the PZ is and follow the front of the PZ into the bird. Uh, also, get in the PZ. Do the SOP. Run into the bird if you can. If the if the tail closes, you can still get into the bird. Don't just stare at the bird. Okay, <laughs> I know that the ramp went up and we had people just watch looking at the bird. You don't need the ramp down to get in. Okay, it's nice. It makes small it easier, ten. but it's not necessary. Oh, uh, one small detail. Um, the ramp, when the bird initially came down, um, mm -hmm. the ramp was up. Yeah, it's still the same thing. Just start just start loading in. That's right. that's another just flight for, thing. Just for, you know, expedience. Yeah, that's a yeah, flight thing. It's out of our, our control. That's going to be something we handle in AR. Yeah, we, we discussed it actually in our AR. Uh, the problem was he was worried that he was going to crush the people that had been pushing into the HLZ. They were very worried about the HLZ crowding tonight, guys. Um, and so, uh, yeah, they could have. They Initially, they were worried that the RPG had damaged the systems. They weren't able to drop the ramp. Uh, but in that situation, as Pharma said, because of armor, you could still get in the aircraft even if the ramp is closed. So just keep that in mind. Okay, anything else? All right, tonight, if anything, showed over-reliance on CTAB. Um, if you don't have the technology, pull it in closer. Get good account of your uh, good accountability of your guys. Team leaders should know where your guys are. Squad leaders should know where your team leaders are. I think people got way too lost um, tonight. Okay, so just, I know it's harder, um, but we'll work on it, okay? I don't know. All right. Anything else at the platoon level? Okay, I'll cut you guys off for your squads and elements. Last thing Appreciate I'll say, it, if anyone has any questions, comments, concerns with my Zeus intermission making or has any ideas for what you want to see run in this community, please feel free to DM me. I get lonely. Yeah, thank you again, Lira. No problem. What can we World defend the Thank you, Lero. Yeah, thanks, Lero. I do owe you a DM, Lero. I, I, I have a doc for that. All right. I have work for you. I'll, uh, I'll reach out. Have fun, guys. Right on, man. All right. Cheers. Um, let me get, let me get, um, let me get HQ. All right. Get out of here. You're free. Have fun. Thanks again, Lero. Appreciate no problem. it. No problem. I'll hit you guys up if we do something else serious. Uh, if not, I'll let you know what other opportunities come up. Oh, sounds good, man. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh! mm. Can I not fly? Oh, I flew in the chopper. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers. We got some stuff on. Oh, yeah. IDC's tomorrow. Uh, or TBD. I forget what it's called. But, uh. Five hours of PvP match commentary. Uh, 200 or so players. That should be fun. Otherwise, cheers, guys. Have a good one. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your evening.